Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transfer a website on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I uh, will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of the video is we would like to transfer a website on GoDaddy. So for now, we'll not need this page. We'll have just to go and open a new tab. Here, simply type at the URL section dcs.godaddy.com and hit the enter button. And that should take you into this page. Of course, if they ask you to sign in into your account again, do it to not take a lot of time. Here, you will find all the domain names that you have into your account. Make sure to select all of the domain names or the website that you would like to transfer. For me, I have just one. Of course, for you, you can select more than one. And here at this bottom panel, make sure to click on more, then click at transfer to account. Of course, here they will ask you to enter the recipient's email address and re-enter that in case you made any mistake on the first one. Of course, those two options are mandatory. And the last option is just op optional, which is the recipient's customer. Of course, the last thing that you'd like to do is just do you want to copy the current domain contact information to the new account? And of course, if you want to make sure to click at yes. And if you don't want to click at no, then simply click at send transfer act, uh, request. And of course, that will take maximum one day and you'll be good to go. So that's actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching it. Goodbye.